You better reconcile with freaking clean, son. Hey guys, name's Finn. Apparently I walk right by loot that's right in front of my face. After re-watching the video a few times, I actually haven't seen any, but I have been informed that there's a ring in some flower pot planter. Uh, but other than that, I haven't seen any. There was one bottle, but then I went back and got it. So, yeah. But the thing is that I've always planned to do is that I have to get back to where I started. So I figure after my objectives are done, I'll go through on a loot run of the city and get the loot. Run the run run, do run run. And other than that, I'll just kind of play and be jolly. This thing seems to be fairly unpronounceable. I mean, one of those days having when I can't pronounce a thing. And now I seem to be back here... Which is actually the place I need to be. She lost a ring, and the ring is in the planter. And it's probably going to be wicked hard to see. And I don't just want to click everywhere. Because that would be cheap. And also there's specks and stuff all up on the planter. And I, I want to feel like, oh, i seen the ring myself. Oh, i seen the ring myself. And there's that place where that guy saw me. And here's some spooky red light. It must be Madame Sexual Entertainment only. It's a weird sort of name, but she does get enough customers. So it's all freaking good. Oh, man. Can you guys even believe it? <laughs> Man, I'll say it for the billionth time. People on the Dark Mod forum sure are hardcore. One guy comes in and states his completely respectable and fair enjoyment of a style of play where you knock everybody out, and everybody else goes, oh boy, I sure don't like that. It's just not good enough. You really should try a different style that you don't like just because I like it. Um, <laughs> I mean, probably just misinterpreting for the, for the point of being a jerk because I absolutely love being a jerk. I like how all of these unlockables take only one thing to unlock. I don't know why I would like that, but I just say things. Due to the murders, my neighbors and I have hired guards to watch over us at night. We're all on edge and welcome each dawn with great sighs of relief. Hopefully the city watch can catch the murderer before too much more time passes. We shouldn't have to pay for increased security. Why not? After all, we aren't made of money. Johannes next door lost the upper floors of his home due to a careless match dropped by a guard he hired to stand watch. Most nights are filled with noisome hammering and sawing as he rebuilds. If the watch would do its job, we wouldn't be wasting our money and Johannes wouldn't be keeping me awake. I wish the new glazing on the gargoyles would dry faster. I'm tired of looking at that miserable canopy the workers draped over that... them... Font's kind of hard to read. To keep off the rain. And that red light to cure the glazing is too harsh for my old eyes and makes everyone think that I'm a whore. The weather's only going to get worse. I smell snow in the air. Johannes better finish his roof soon. Have to leave for Eastport today to deal with the problems at the docks. Um, I, I seem to be having a special case of Tourette's syndrome where instead of saying unmentionable words randomly, you instead just randomly spout out plurals where they don't belong. I think I need a diagnosis for this and then I can walk around claiming to have it and collecting all kinds of disability checks. It's going to be amazing. Oh, damn, I can't get out that door. How ridiculous. Maybe because it leads to the street. I like these candle sparkler birthday looking things. That guy's two years as old. Ah, happy birthday! Except it's a weird generator that has these cool Thief One style magic slash electricity tech things going on here. Yeah, you certainly heard something. Just want to see if there's anything on this birthday cake that I could snatch, such as a big old load of sugar. Uh oh. <laughs> Mantle button. Oh, uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, I think I've been there already, but hey, I'm always on the lookout for blatant loot that I haven't seen that's right in front of my face. Now, this isn't loot, despite it may look like golden stuff because the candle's shining all over it, but it actually isn't, so yeah. This is really awesome, though. I love this mission so far. Unfreaking abashedly stating that I love it, not just like. But I'm so enjoying it that I cannot help but squee all up and down the block. I think this is just where I've been into. Yes, it's the other direction. But now I'm actually having to look at a map to find out where to go. West District murders steals. <laughs> steals. Let's steal some loot. I know it's Zed. I don't know why there's a Zed there. It's, it's weird. Um, okay, so I guess I'm kind of somewhere and I need to go somewhere else. <laughs> This isn't helpful at all, what? Sometimes you don't know what is loot, though, because... <laughs> okay. But I want to say that there's something else out here? 
Possibly, because I heard some crying baby at some point. Oh, they, oh yeah, yeah, coins, but yeah. Also, there's another wooden box across another street, probably. Uh, possibly even close to here or something. No, this is completely different and a completely new place. Well, I guess I'll go in here. It looks heavily fenced with a spiky, scary fence, so probably going to be super, 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 super fun. And I can get non-infinite rope arrows. Standings after today's match. Peterson, 144. Tarna, 108. Morris, 92. Farn, 76. Tomorrow is the last round. The winner gets a match-side seat at the West District Bear Fights next month. <laughs> the man in last place also wins something, but he probably won't like it. Farn says he lost a purse today. Anyone finding it, better not keep it. Well, Peterson better shut his mouth before his short stocks lose him all his money and he has to move out of his Buckingham Palace and back to America. Oh! Shit. Nobody's gonna get that reference. Because it's a real-life reference. Oh! I thought this was gonna lead me somewhere cool. But sports aren't cool, and anyways, I can't even get there, so... Man, back in the old days, they had these crappy, crappy, low-res, ridiculous, medieval-looking doors for doors that you couldn't open. And proper-looking doors for doors you could. And now, all doors are doors. It's just kinda sad. Doors have really lost their individuality. Amazing design here. Just looping around and going back and forward. Dying. Amazing. Yeah, I seem to have landed on a doorway. That's not going to do my health any good. I guess that baby crying is supposed to add to the horrible, bleak atmosphere. Which is cool. Because I don't know how you'd actually have a baby. I mean, I'm sure nobody's made a model for that because, I mean, you just can't do much that isn't literally horrifying with that sort of thing in a, in a dark game. I mean, you can you can talk about, you know, orphans and things, but don't don't show them because people will probably begin vomiting all over your face. Unless it's a ghost girl. Ghost girls are creepy and therefore super recommended to be used in all cases. Now, <laughs> I'm trying to find that note about Clib or whatever the heck his name was, Crib, and then cross the street so I can find a second wooden box because I'm pretty sure there's a second one, so I can collect another ransom from another king, all in a day's work for Bicycle Repairman. I've got rope arrows, however, and I should be using them, SHOULD be using them at all the time, just why aren't I using my resources just, oh, I gave them to you and you won't even make use- Okay, there must be some raison d'etre for this little bridge thingy here, or perhaps I can shoot there. <laughs> It's a little hard to see because IRL things are a little bit dark. Oh, Brian, I mean, is that wood or isn't it? Maybe not. Nope. Looks like I could get up there, but I don't see any wood around. Well, I'm near the Builder Church, so <laughs> at least I know that much. Hi. Perhaps if I head over uh, this way, I might find an intro. Mothers against crouch jumping! And there is a builder up there, by the way, who is going to see me and stare and not ever move. Because goddammit, those guys are a little kinda stubborn. But that's just part of their charm. Well, it looks like... Oh, shh. You stay away, son. I'm gonna go this way so as you completely forget about me. I shall return thee to die. There is some wisdom in thy fear. <laughs> yes. What? Bloody hell, now he's hitting me with arrows. Come on, I'm just trying to pick open a door to stealthily make my ass- No, I saved my ga- oh crap. I saved my game, I'm now stuck with the consequences of my actions. <laughs> That's terrible. Well, anyways, that guy is gonna fum and fall over there while I do something actually productive. Hopefully. I mean, every room in the entire known universe has got to have loot in it. It's kind of the Baron's Law, and if you break it, you sort of cease to exist. Because it's a proper universal law, and not just one that was written and made up by some guy. This, come on. Really? It's neat that you can actually put it inside the drawer and then... God damn... No, <laughs> it's neat. But unfortunately, no use has yet been found. <laughs> there must be a hidden switch or something. There's always a hidden switch or something. Yes, I see it. The question is just pressing it. 
Oh yes, because this model kind of... Uh, point defeatingly, I guess, is always outfitted with that one switch to raise those books. So once you know one, you kind of know them all, presuming you remember. That's cool how this stuff just falls out, though. That's really well done. Accidental, maybe? I don't know. But uh, hey, that was a loot in front of my face and I didn't miss it. I'm going to get dropped from my label. A thief's best friend is gamblers who are asleep, except this is just backgammon or something. Which is not quite the same thing. They're not coins, but merely very badly counterfeited coins. So yeah, don't think this guy is wearing his purse to bed. Aha. Uh -huh. There is a vent in the floor, but it looks like it might not be a secret, but rather just central heating. Oh. Well, maybe I can take a really roundabout way to get into the builder's home. Yeah. Oh! Frickin' cheetah face, go back to the skooma den. Here come the muscle car. I might be able to climb over this. No. S oh, yep, yep, yep. Still not, still so. I thought I saw something glowing down there, but no loot was to be had on this balcony. Uh, I'm gonna miss more loot also because, like, glare on the screen that I cannot get rid of because I'm as yet living like a budget person. This is the episode where I claim to be stinging filthy rich several times, but I may just edit them all out. If you can note the locations where I've edited them all out, well, you've got too much time in your hands, son. Well, so many places to go. I think I wanted to go somewhere over here, but now I've forgotten. Yeah, I could go down the stairs in that building. I should probably do that, I suppose, lest before I forget. Oh. Drop that weapon. Don't move. I disappeared. I'm not here. Yeah, that's right. You don't know where I am. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Go, no, yeah, no, that's wrong. <laughs> well, here I am trapped in a corner creating some awesome commentary uh, because I don't want to reload. Wait a minute. No, I do want to reload. Well, for some reason, you went over there this time. So I must quickly dash into the shadows and not create a sonic boom whatsoever. What? What? <laughs> Nothing but an AI storage bin. Okay, well, I think I'll go into the generator-looking room first. If it will even allow me to grip the gate, it seems a little ghostly and slippery. Uh, we don't want no lubricated ghosts, because then you might make a really disturbing Yoshi's Island joke. Not gold. What? This isn't a place I've been before, is it? I would demand my money back if that was the case. There seems to be a sparsity of AI, but I guess who the heck would patrol roofs? That shadowy figure. Is that a statue? Maybe. Looks pretty spooky, though. It's observing me as if it were a dummy. But we do not speak of such things. Well, I went into the freaking electrical generator looking room, and all it did was leave me here. So, I think I'll see if this door leads to anything more of a dead end. I really like that style window there. As with certain other things about the Dark Mod, I, I, I like it. I mean, this might just be an attic, and if that was the case, I'd be very happy. I could read about a Burrick ruined wedding and all sorts of other amusing things, but I guess the <laughs> his mission is just too large and non-linear to ever give me a nice, tidy dead end. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Mantle key! Anyways. <laughs> Ways to go. I get told way to go from a label every day, looking boy. Oh, but I get back onto a similar yet slightly moderately differently looking place on the roofs. Well, the standard fare for rooftops is balconies with wine and candles and gold bottles. Literally everybody's doing it. It's the freaking trend. And nobody wants to be left behind in that regard, do they? I guess I'll have to give up clearing it out methodically and just kind of look at black specks in the air that disappear when you look at them. With my devoted husband brutally murdered five weeks ago, I find that life no longer has meaning for me. I'd hope to move beyond the grief and loss, but I can no longer see a future on my own without him. Oh. And to have those other people senselessly murdered, why has God allowed this to happen? Spoiler, sometimes people call the Master Builder God. 
What have we done to incur his wrath? I go now to be with my beloved, ah, oh, Lady Barristan. Well, now you see, this is what happens in a codependent relationship. That is a very heartless comment to say to a recently deceased and bereaved at the same time. But this is a video game, so I'll say what I like. Oh, nudity is hot, all oh, I. It's the bangle, bangle, bungles when your loved ones have been mungled. Well, I like this, though. I mean, <laughs> just, you gotta remember where you're going, but, uh, well, that's not too terribly difficult here. What an enjoyable play. Now it's the home of a lady who has not committed suicide because her husband still lives, apparently. So, so yeah. I don't know why I keep talking about things in the context of other things, but I guess I'm just here to steal her necklace and maybe cause her to be even more depressed than before, which is to say not at all. Dear, Mr. Solomon says he'll be back tomorrow to install the last of the window bars. Make sure you lock the windows before going to bed. I'll be at my club and will be home very late. All my love, Rebus. All his love except the love that he used on that prostitute at the club that he's at very late. <laughs> That's a new jump set. Oh, and here I am back here. So you see, it all works out. Except when it doesn't. Well, I am quite curious about this spook... He's... That... Chew. Holy crap. Like, that is seriously scary. He's gonna, like, whip around and face me with a skeleton face and oh, what an eerie spooky is. Oh, crap. That's not actually the street. I thought that was another law. You can't touch the street moment. But no. Uh-oh. Oh, yes it is. <laughs> I bet you could do some cool sequence breaking in this here land. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's just an eerily placed statue, but I, I guess I can't get at it from this angle. Made quite a bit of noise, though. <laughs> okay, not so spooky. Wow. This is, like, really an awesome mission aesthetically. Like, holy crap. Really beautiful and fun, too. I mean, damn for real, dog. And I only say damn for real, dog, in certain special situations to select clients, you know. Well, since I'm here with this statue, I think next time I'll, I'll pop back in and be scared. So I, I'm going to leave it here. Plurals and stuttering, I am Elon Musk. Revere me. Bye.